What's going on, guys? Hey, uh, man, it is foggy this morning. Foggy, foggy, foggy. But uh, that's a moot point. Hey, wanted to talk to you guys. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I'm Mike Gunn, owner of Gun Landscaping in Noblesville, Indiana. And uh, you can check me out over on YouTube at Get It Done With Gun. So, and on Instagram too. Can't forget Instagram. I'm new on there, but I really like the platform. You know, I'm trying to catch up with, uh, you know, everything. But <clears throat> anyways, wanted to talk today about the lifeblood of your company. Now, this is something that took me a while to figure out. I've been in business for 10 years, officially full time for eight years. If we want to get technical. I wanted to talk today as I'm driving down here to the to the shop uh, about the lifeblood of your company, like I said. And that is not, you know, a lot of people in today's society, whatever you want to call it, get all caught up in the equipment they're using and, uh, you know, maybe even the, the quality of work they're performing, which those are all necessities. I totally agree with that. Uh, I myself got caught up and all of that and kind of forgot about the number one main asset in your company and that's yourself uh, being a, even if you're a sole proprietor or a solo uh, preneur or uh, you know uh, just and that's maybe your long-term goal is just to, to stay solo and there there's plenty of bonus bonuses to that and benefits and that this video will still um, be directed towards those people and then also if you want to grow your company uh, no matter the size the number one thing you have to focus on and the number one thing you have to invest in in yourself is increasing uh, your sales and uh, that that's with everything um, yeah. that's with everything because let me tell you this I am a naturally introverted person uh, I don't like to uh, I'm not gonna say I don't like to I, I am naturally comfortable uh, when I have time to think uh, by myself, you know, and I, I perform better, say in an office environment when I am uh, alone and I can actually think. And all of those things that come into being introverted, you can look up introverted, extroverted on the internet anywhere. Uh, you'll get plenty of better explanations than what I can explain here. But that just kind of gives you a baseline for me. Um, but what I've come to realize and then what I've learned a lot about in the past few years is how important sales is in your company. It's the number one thing in your company. And I know that may seem basic, but a lot of us forget, you know, even at lawn care landscaping related here uh, in lawn care, say, if you're out there mowing lawns every day, you know, uh, 30, 40 lawns, whatever they may be. Uh, you know, maybe mow 70 lawns a week. I don't know, whatever it may be for you and the size lawns, you know, you're doing in your area. For lawn care, even if you think, you know, I've got a full workload, I don't need to be selling anything. Uh, I, I've got all that I want. I am perfectly content. I am happy. We're good. You still need to be selling. You still need to be marketing. You still need to stay top notch with a website, your branding all of the things that go into the marketing side of things and you need to stay top notch and keep uh, keep growing with yourself versus being able to sell and I don't know if that makes sense the way I worded it there but you got to keep going with it and here's the reason why even if you want to stay solo or uh, or you do want to grow both of them are the same here you've got to uh, You know, you got to think about the profit that you're making. And if you can keep selling larger lawns or maybe more high end work, or even just the same lawns that you're mowing now, same identical ones, but you're growing in your experience and your expertise and your confidence, which is key, uh, you can start to sell those same jobs for more uh, because people are going to slowly realize the dependability and the quality of your work uh, as you grow and as you get further into business as in, you know a few more years into it uh, that you can start to really increase your prices because people are gonna pay more and you're gonna realize really quickly that the price that maybe you were charging or price in general doesn't always matter people you know think that you know price is, is the number one thing that clients are concerned with and it's not clients want the job done that's why they're calling you that's why they're getting a hold of you they want the work done 
Uh, of course they want it done right. Of course they want to get a good price. But the number one is they want it done. That's why they're calling. And if you can assure them that they're going to get it done um, in the best manner with you, you and your business, uh, then they're going to pay the price. You know, they're going to pay whatever it is as long as they feel confident that they are, that the uh, services they're getting equals the price they're paying, you know. Uh, and you have to keep it good there. You know, you got to keep your quality up and all that, of course. But uh, you just please remember, uh, as I've taken too many years to learn, that sales is number one. Never forget that. You can have the nicest equipment on the nicest trailer pull it, pulled by the nicest truck, no matter if it's landscaping, lawn care, what have you. Um, but none of that matters if you can't sell the jobs. And you're never going to get anywhere if you can't make more money doing it. And, you know, that's not necessarily having to work seven days a week for the rest of your life here to make more money. You know, I understand that a lot of us like to, to hustle and, and bustle and, and feel a lot of gratitude and working excessively. But uh, as you grow, maybe a family or whatever it may be, you know, you're going to have more things that are going to consume your time. And time is money. So the key to all of this is uh, with your company and uh, growing, no matter if you want to stay solo or not, you have to remember that sales is your number one focus. Uh, and even if you don't think you're a salesman, even if you hate the topic, you're in business for yourself. When you when you, when you signed up for that, you signed up to be a salesman. Uh, a lot of us have a bad image in our mind of you know the dirty car salesman or whatever. But the truth of the matter is to break it really down is that we're all salesmen, whether we're in business for ourselves or not. Anything you do in life, you have to sell it. You, any decision you ever make, anything, ever. Mm -hmm.